Thank you. Good morning to everybody. Uh, today, Silvia and I will present uh, this paper, authored also by Emanuele Invernizzi, which is aimed to discuss uh, how strategic the role of internal communication uh, is by relating it to the management perspectives, or more precisely, to the entrepreneurial theory of the firm. Um, our agenda for today, firstly, I will illustrate the main feature of the entrepreneurial communication paradigm, and then Silvia will describe in depth uh, the internal communication activities uh, which make it strategic in relation to the entrepreneurial communication paradigm. A uh, current debate in a communication literature states that internal communication is vital for organizational management and success. Uh, while advocating it, uh, in its strategic role, uh, in our opinion, communication scholars don't provide a comprehensive and convincing frame to explain and fully describe the strategic contribution of internal communication to the organization. This is pre precisely what our paper is aimed at. Interpreting the strategic contribution of internal communication and its pivotal role within the organization in light of the entrepreneurial organization theory. Uh, in a previous paper uh, that Emanuele and I uh, have just presented uh, this year at the ICA conference in Boston, uh, we described a model which analyzes the strategic role of communication adopting the entrepreneurial perspective. Uh, in particular, we have started from the entrepreneurial organization theory and we have identified four dimensions uh, used by several authors uh, which have been defined as critical for the success of uh, the firm. Uh, these dimensions are gatekeeping and networking uh, with key stakeholders uh, in the organization, orientation to innovation uh, of all organizational partners, uh, transformative leadership uh, of uh, top managers, and finally enactment of the organization competitive environment. Then we have singled out four dimensions of the strategic contribution of communication linked to the corresponding dimensions of the entrepreneurial organization theory. And the four dimensions of communication uh, are aligning, energizing, visioning, and constituting. Uh, they offer an integrated framework that we have named the entrepreneurial communication paradigm to appreciate the strategic role of communication in sustaining decision-making processes, in creating competitive uh, advantage, and in contributing, uh, eventually, to the success of the firm. Now, the question raised in this paper is how important is the role of internal communication within entrepreneurial communication paradigm. Silvia will uh, we'll discuss this issue. Okay. Thank you, Stefania. So, uh, in the entrepreneurial communication paradigm, internal communication is able to feed and enrich uh, the strategic role of communication. So now let's see how internal communication uh, activities can participate in strategic communication. First of all, we see in the line dimension, internal communication basically plays two roles, the internal scanning and employee engagement. By internal scanning, we mean that uh, internal communication can uh, inform uh, the management about uh, real perspectives in an organization, so allowing uh, the exchange of information and feedback which are actually linked with local situation, with the perception of organizational members, and with actual dynamics uh, in our organi organization processes. Then, by employee engagement, we mean uh, listening and involving uh, in with employees uh, in uh, decision-making processes in a way that employees feel they are actually participating since the beginning uh, in decision-making as a kind of co-decisional partners. Then we have the energizing component, and in this component, internal communication uh, played the role of uh, 
turning on the employees uh, as uh, kind of uh, entrepreneurs themselves. Uh, and in this dimension, uh, this role of internal communication uh, is carried out basically through knowledge, learning, and innovation communication that means uh, instilling an innovative spirit in employees, uh, allowing them to create new ideas, new insights, and to embed these new ideas and insights into their daily activity. Uh, moreover, employees uh, should be empowered to do so, so they should be allowed to change the way uh, they get things done in their daily activities. Then uh, we have uh, the visioning dimensions, and in this dimension, internal communication uh, plays uh, three roles. First of all, uh, the fine-tuning between the employees and, and the organizations. That means uh, instilling the mission uh, of the organization and uh, corporate objectives in the mind of employees. It's a kind of mental programming of employees, uh, actually. Uh, especially this is carried out uh, through leadership communications. Uh, that, that is the role of leaders uh, to inspire employees and to raise the vision of employees uh, to the vision of uh, the leaders. But we have also to remember that visioning is more than just shaping the mind. It is also about taking advantage of the discretionary behaviors of employees of the autonomous initiatives. So here, internal communication plays a strategic role in the coordination of these initiatives in a way that the uh, autonomous actions carried out by employees can foster uh, the organizational mission. Finally, we have the constituting dimension. And uh, in this dimension, internal communication uh, concerns the interpretive efforts, uh, which uh, actually can construct and interpret subjectively the organization. That means that the exchange of information and communication between uh, organizational members can uh, really carry out the sense making process inside the organization, can uh, allow the members to understand their roles and to negotiate their membership inside the organization. As regards the roles of organizational members, internal communication plays strategic roles in the cast and actment or supportive teams of employees. That means channeling the energy toward the objective organization. So as we have seen, the activities of internal communication I presented um, carry out the strategic role of internal communication and enrich uh, the outlook carried out in the entrepreneurial communication paradigm. Okay, just to conclude, our conclusions are that internal communication supports the growth of two, um, two main organizational driving forces within organizations. All the internal communication activities are focused to develop a common vision of the company and of its strategy, and at the same time to increase innovation and micro-entrepreneurship among employees. Means that internal communication plays a central role within the entrepreneurial communication paradigm, both supporting organizational development as well as activating auto-entrepreneurship of employees and managers. Thank you. <laughs>